Hello, welcome to this video. Um, this is a uh, follow-on from another video I've done, um, whereby we are going to create an IKUV2 VPN server on our Microtech. Uh, this particular Microtech is in uh, AWS, uh, it's a CHR. Um, and I made this video originally because uh, anyone that's got an Android device, which is uh, on version 12 or higher, um, previously I was using L2TP with IPsec and that's no longer supported. So um, IKEV2 seems to be the only way forward. Um, however, in the last video, we had to generate certificates on the CHR. We had to then export that certificate and, uh, sorry, we had to export that and the CA certificate and install both on our Android. Um, device and user username and password. So although it's the preferred method in terms of security, um, this is just a, an easy way if we wanted to quickly spin up a VPN server for stuff that's not, uh, you know, less critical. And um, we just simply need, uh, it's called, I call it username and password, which is technically the IPsec identifier and a PSK as the password. So we will jump into our uh, Microtik and we're going to um, start, just uh, go over what's already configured, um, it's the same as before. Um, we've got uh, a bridge, which I've called VPN bridge, that has an IP address um, of 10.1.254.1 uh, slash 24. And then um, the IP pool here, we've already configured is just called VPN underscore port and it's just taken 10, dot, 10 to 20 in that range. So they're going to be the IP addresses we dish out to our client. So let's go ahead and go to IP, IP sec. Uh, there it is. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our, um, our mode config. We have a new one here. Um, we're just going to call it okay, v 2 uh, and then we're going to select the address ball as VPN pool, put it to 32 prefix list. Um, I'm not going to use the system DNS, we'll just give it a static one for now. Otherwise, I'd go out the DNS that we're currently using on this mic tick. Uh, okay, that. Then we're going to go for our proposal. Um, Again, just call it IKEV2. Uh, select um, for the auth algorithm 256. And then we're just going to tick all of the ones from 128, 192, and 256. There you go. That's all. Okay, uh, leave everything else the same. Okay, now we go for our policy group first. Again, this can be anything you like. And then our policies. No. Okay, policies. Okay. I'm going to tick template so that gets rid of the peer option. I'm going to just do all zeros. Um, and then on the action tab, we're just going to select our new proposal. Okay, so that one's done. Actually, apologies, missed the group. Sorry, there we go. If I'm flicking through this too quickly, just um, check the link in the description, which take you to a step-by-step -step guide, which has Winbox screenshots, as well as uh, the CLI commands. If you prefer that, you can just copy and paste those in there. Um, and then we just add up here. Uh, again, comment anything you like. And then profile is going to be. Oh, I've missed a step, haven't I? I missed the profile. Apologies, leave that open there. Profile. V2. Okay, change that to 256. Um, select 256 and 192 here. And we'll just add. 1536 as well for the Diffie Helming group. Uh, natural verse, so everything else is okay, it's all good. Now we should be able to select it now. There we go. 
change mode like EV2 and passive. Okay, that should be everything for here. Okay, now the last thing is the identity. Now, if you've seen the other video, it's worth checking it out. But it's, um, I start off by generating all the certificates and exporting them and everything else, and obviously, we're not going to do any of that here. Um, this is where we would then also select the certificates, but we're here, we're going to select the pre shared key. Um, now, the secret is going to be what our password is going to be for our user, effectively. So, you'd have one of these identities per user. Just going to unhide password so I can see what I'm typing. Again, you would use a much more secure password than this. And we select our group. Um, and now this, we've changed our remote ID type to key ID. And this is where we're going to put, uh, effectively put our user. I'm just going to use my name. Um, and then mode configuration is that one we created. And then port override for policy. Just double check that all looks good. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. And that is it. The only other thing we need to confirm is if we're, if you've got firewall set up, if this is your, um, if your mic is connected directly to the internet, um, then you need to have this. Obviously, this will be configured. Hopefully, you've got it configured. Um, but this is all, everything on our input chain. So this is everything connecting to the. Um, I was just in line comments in here. Everything hitting the mic tick itself on Ether One, which is our WAN interface. Um, just need to add UDP, 500 UDP, uh, four 500 for um, IPsec. Sorry, NAT traversal, and then um, you just need uh, for IPsec ESP, which is protocol 50, again, for on our ISP. Um, these are just then my default drop, and then allow. But however, this because this is a CHR, this is actually redundant because I have a um, security group in front of this anyway, but it's not a bad idea to have both if you've, you know, know what you're doing so that way you've got if you do end up doing allow all from your um security group because you're testing something and then you forget to close it again you've got this separate layer of protection so uh yeah that's pretty much it so what we're going to do is we will now jump on to the phone so connection settings and vpn okay we add vpn profile okay we can just call this our I A E V two. So we want the option we want is this um, PSK one. You see, this RSA was the one that we did for the certificates, but we want PSK. Server address is going to be my public IP of my CHR. Again, you can use the dynamic DNS name if you. This is going to be not a static IP address. Um, again, that's identified in other videos. Uh, identify this is now going to be our um, effectively our username. So, oh, so I set to Andrew. And the PSK was a super secure Hello World 123 password. Okay, save and click connect. And we're done. Now, if we jump back on our Microsoft, we look at active peers. There we go. You can see I have connected. Let me jump back on my phone, reconnect my IP address, and as you can see, there we go. We've got our IP address all while coming out of Sydney, which is the AWS pop. Okay, well, hopefully, that's uh, been uh, clear enough for you. Um, if you have any questions or any other um, concerns, uh, any other ways of doing it or any other um, types of VPN servers or any other, anything to do with marketing at all, please reach out, um, comment on this video, comment on any of my videos, click on the link to the website, check out any um, anything on there you've got, anything of interest, any videos you might want to add in, always happy to... Um, create a guide and then create the video alongside it um but if not please like subscribe um and then i'll see you in the next one cheers